what we have here is a General Electric Model 7-4630B clock radio. Four watts input with a wood grain finish on polystyrene. This one actually gives you a GE Answer Center phone number. It's interesting. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a battery for me to peruse with, so I don't know if the previous owner used the battery, what it happens to be. 3505, I'd take that to me 1985. The other portions of the date code I really don't understand, but uh, you can see it's just a standard red LED display. No lock on the controls, so we can just set it willy-nilly. Might as well set it accurately, 213. It's actually 215, but we'll go to the camera's time. There's your wake. You got a sleep timer. There's your switch to, for the radio or the alarm. It's a snooze button, which does not double as a seconds display. There's your volume control. Oops. I should probably show the volume control. It might be useful. There's a band switch over here and a tuning knob, so we'll go ahead and we will tune this all the way back to the end of the band and give it a try on FM. Ooh, scratchy control, that's not a good sign. I'd lower the volume of that. About losing the radio. <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure uh, what a baby would do when they... We, my, we fall the fire. Um, women do. Looking to attract more visitors, customers, and... Wow. Argentinas, based on Maybe you became I hear it doing crazy things. Let's see if the uh, band switch actually works. Oh, it does. I think. There we go. Not picking up a whole lot. All right, so that's it for the radio. Now we'll go ahead and we'll set the alarm. Probably wasn't a good idea to do that, but whatever. So we'll turn that off. And that'll conclude the video, so thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off, and hope to see you next time.